So we were speaking, weren't we, in the um, in the hotel you're from Reykjavik, um, Iceland. Yeah, that's correct. And enjoying your time in Lithuania so far? Oh yeah, well I've only been here at this place and the hotel oh. and some restaurants. Yeah. Oh. The restaurants are great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to a Peruvian place last night. Um, the food, amazing. Yeah. And the atmosphere was great. Oh yeah, yeah. It's very good. I was hoping to grab you yesterday for like a full podcast episode, but we ended up doing eight different teams and people and all the rest of it. Yeah. Um, but we spoke in the hotel um, about your start in scaffolding. Yeah. Why did you start a scaffolding business? When I was a young boy, uh, my plan was to become a musician. I was a trombone player and my education is around uh, uh, music. Then uh, uh, I was working, I was working, uh, you know, 20 years old, I was working in, in a wine shop. And uh, the time I had to practice uh, my trombone was only lunchtime. And come one hour earlier uh, to the shop to practice because my family, they did not like to listen to me practice. <laughs> so there came one day, a few years later, uh, 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 there came a possibility for me to, to uh, uh, change uh, my life. And this was uh, uh, a scaffolding company that was for sale. Not very big, it was, it was quite small. So for a man, uh, at this time, I had no money, but I was given the possibility to buy this company. My friend was working in the company. I, I uh, asked him, can I be sure I will be bringing uh, the same money as I get from the wine shop uh, to my family and have time to practice my trombone at the office? He said, for sure. So I bought it. <laughs> so they're probably the only man in history to ever purchase a scaffolding company to have more time to practice his trombone. Did you get more time to practice? I got uh, always these uh, two hours I needed, minimum, always, but the trumpet was always there, you know, always ready to pick up and, and play. And, uh, but then the company grew. <laughs> and slowly, 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 I had no time to practice my trombone, so I had to just pack it, leave it there and focus on the scaffoldings. Which, you know, life throws these little curveballs at you, but you've Maybe not the best trombone player in the world, no. <laughs> but you certainly have a fantastic scaffolding company. Yeah, yeah. It's going very good. It's yeah. going very good today, yes. Yeah. yeah. And a big plan to purchase a lot more layer, I think. Ah, layer. This is only starting uh, from last year, from uh, uh, September. Uh, there was a park uh, rented from here, actually, from Lithuania, in a special project in Reykjavik. And uh, I saw this, uh, uh, you know, uh, project uh, and, and how it was erected and how they did everything and I thought to myself this is what I want in the end instead of they, them uh, 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 returning the material I bought it and I will sell all my uh, old old scaffoldings and focus on only liar yeah it's a great product it's a great product yeah. I me mean, look around look at all the structures that are built out here yeah. um, some fantastic stuff and I'm sure when you look around the, the, uh, the shop and the warehouse yeah. lots of new innovations and great products oh yes yes uh, this is this is uh, for me this is the future mm. yes have you got your eye on a particular team that you think are gonna maybe win the competition it's either the Latvians or, or, or the Mongolians I think so. the Mongolians were really fast weren't they oh. I missed them I was I looking in the studio the, the, uh, the, uh, their time but but uh, I'm sure they were similar to the Latvians mm. Well, uh, I've been told maybe some time penalties for safety concerns. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe, yes, yeah, yeah. It could go all the way. I think there's one more round and they might have a bit of a, an advantage because they, they've seen some tricks. I was speaking to the Swedish guys and they said we've, we've seen some things that we're going to try. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It would be interesting. In the end of the day, we will see who is the winner. Yeah. 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 That's the lot too. Yeah. Cheers for the interview, Palomir. It's Thank uh, you. been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Good to meet you. Thank you.